guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video today i am here to share with you guys the april kits so budget kits planning kits all the fun stuff i'm really excited about april kits one thing i wanted to quick quickly mention is i've actually been going through um like an allergic reaction it happened let's see like four or five days ago. Um, that is kind of why my hands are a little splotchy. I'm not wearing my ring and I have dry hands because I'm afraid to put anything on. Um, I'm doing okay taking Benadryl and steroids and all the stuff, but um, a lot of like my planning and videos that I was planning on filming did not get done this week because I've been dealing with that. But I wanted to go ahead and share this with you guys and take the time to do that. Um, so let's go ahead and get into it. So I always keep all of my kits that I'm using for myself in my disc album. So I pull these when I'm putting stock away and it just makes my life so much easier. So here is what we have for the April kits. This is the main kit, which is kit 182. Let me just put this off to the side. Um, so the main kits obviously for April are gonna be purple and you can kind of get an idea of what it looks like. For some reason, April just feels like butterflies to me. So um, here is the monthly view that's meant for budgeting. If you want the same kit, but you want um, more geared towards like planning there are a, there is another option that has some event stickers off to the side um, but this is the one that I would recommend using for either an Erin Condren 7x9 planner or my humble beginnings budget planner so I have my monthly view here I pulled a bunch of the expense tracking stickers so you can kind of get an idea of what the colors look like. Um, I feel like you can get a pretty good idea of the purple as well from here. I didn't pull the budget kit or the weekly check-in kit, but those are also available. And as I've mentioned multiple times throughout these videos, there are three sizes for budget kits available in my shop. What I'm showing you guys here is just stuff that I pulled for myself, but just keep in mind there are so many other options. I think every single month we release like over 100, maybe close to 100 and 20 listings so there is a seven by nine budget option eight and a half by eleven and also petite we also have something that's called a complete budget kit which has seven different sheets it already has the background in the back um, i definitely recommend picking those up if you are like out of the country and you're purchasing like larger um larger purchases all at one time that way you can stock up on budget kits um, but that is the monthly view the expense tracking stickers and here is the washi that's meant for the humble beginnings budget planner um i feel like the lighting's always not that great with lighter colors but this is definitely like a more muted um theme which i love i love the more muted tones so you get butterflies some sprinkles this is like a little carousel some little tiny stars um just super cute and i think it'll pair really well with all of the purple that is in this kit so that is kit 182. I'll show you guys the actual kit as well. For 182, I pulled um, some items for myself that is related to my specific planner, but I will show you guys the main stuff. So here is kit 182, the sampler page. So again, you get the really pretty butterflies. I love combining like butterflies or florals with stripes. You get all these really pretty colors. So a darker purple, pink, lighter purple, and the blue. Here are the full boxes. Again, you get the, like the carousel type of thing. I love it. I think it's super cute. Here's the washi. So again, some more of that carousel, the butterflies, sprinkles. I love those stripes. The colors in this kit are just perfect, I feel like, for springtime. Here are the functional stickers. So for functional, we have some skinny event labels, regular event labels, some dash quarter boxes, two-toned boxes, double flags, a bunch of these half dash boxes, appointment boxes, habit trackers, some checklists and individual checklists, and then a bunch of mini dots. So lots of options. In the decorative page, we have all the icons, some more decorative labels, both quarter and half, and then some deco journaling pieces as well. Here is the clip art for this kit, super duper cute. Again, I'm just obsessed with the butterflies. I think it's so cute. 
And then I did pull just because I feel like I like having some of these just for like random stuff that I'm doing in my own um, planner. I did pull the monthly kit that's designed for like planning. So you can see you have some more event stickers and then also some of the holidays and then also the dashboard. So lots of fun options there. Here are the events, or not event stickers, here are the date covers. So here's what it will look like for the vertical planner. And then here is the brush strokes. We also do offer hourly as well, but again, I don't use that, so I did not pull that for myself. Um, so that is kit 182. That's the main kit. That's what all the budget planner um, pieces or all the budget kits have been based off of. I try when I'm doing my kits to keep in mind the main color scheme for the month and then try and pick kits that like will kind of go along with that just because I never want like you know if you are not a huge fan of kit 182 but you want to use 183 I want you to be able to use some of the same stickers um, and not have any huge differences but um, yeah Okay, so next we have kit 183. This is a really fun like lavender and lemon kit. I just thought it was so cute. So here's the sampler page. You get purples and yellows and more of the blue, super cute. I love that art. Lemons are super fun. I'm not a fan of lemons, but I love the way that they look. <laughs> Um, here are the full boxes. So again, you get some patterned boxes as well as some of the icons. Here we have washi. I love like this one as well with all the florals, super cute. We have the functional stickers, decorative stickers. And then anytime a kit doesn't have a ton of options for clip art, I like to include deco journaling stuff instead. And I personally have been loving using the deco journaling sheets in my own planner. If you haven't checked out some of my plan with me's lately, I definitely recommend doing it because I have been using these a ton. Um, but you get some of these flags, some of these little circles, these little paint splashes that have the like lemon theme. And then some of these torn washi strips, Monday through Sunday, just lots of fun options. And for the date covers, we have the vertical and the brush stroke. I feel like, again, it's really bright in my house because I have the like natural lighting, but um, very cute colors. Okay, next, we have kit 184, and this actually is a kit that I'm bringing back. You may remember it from last year, um, and it's this really beautiful um like crystals and moon with flowers i just think it's so pretty and perfect for springtime so here we have this really cute background with the little light bulb if you purchase this kit when i originally released it as a mystery kit then you probably still have the notepad that goes along with it so kind of a fun option there but you got some purple some of this like coral color pink and blue here are the full boxes I just love them super cute the washi functional stickers here we have the decorative stickers and then the clip art so again I just love 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 the details in this kit. I think it's going to be super cute and I'm excited to get to play around with it and make it my own. Here we have the vertical and the brush stroke date covers, um, super cute options. So if you have some leftovers from that kit, you could probably purchase, you know, bits and pieces and use it again. Um, I know for me, I absolutely love it. So I'm excited to use it. I don't think I still have the date or I don't, I don't think I still have the notepad though. I'm pretty sure I use that all. The very last kit we have is kit 185 and I didn't do a ton of florals in all of the kits that I used. It was a lot of butterflies and other items. So I definitely wanted to do more of like a regular floral kit. So here we have um, this pink and purple and green floral with stripes, because you guys know I love that. I love that these are a little bit more bold colors. Here are the full boxes, lots and lots of florals. Again, I just really wanted to do a kit that was all about florals. 
Here is the washi. The functional stickers, you can see lots of bright colors. Decorative stickers. And then this one again has the deco journaling sheet. So I'm really excited to get to use this and pair it with some of the other stickers that I pulled for myself. And then for the date covers, we have the vertical date covers here and the brush stroke date covers. So lots of fun options. Again, what I showed you guys is not everything we have. We have daily duo kits, A5 daily duo kits. We have compact vertical kits. We have Hobonichi kits. Um, lots and lots and lots of options. Not everything was shown, obviously, in this video. We have monthly view. We have um, like more options for monthly view than we did in the past. We have dashboard pages, lots of budget kits, um, thick and thin washi if you want to like have a little bit more washi in your kit, lots of options. So definitely check them out. If you're looking for something specific and you're not super sure where to look, my suggestion is always to just search by the kit number. So let's say that you absolutely love kit 185. Just go on my shop, search in the search bar 185 and everything related to this kit will pop up. Same thing can be for any of the other kits. Um, just a great option to do that if you are wanting to check out something specific, but you're like, oh, I don't know what options are available. I don't know what kits would work well. Um, I'm currently using a planner by Little Inklings. It's a book planner and my regular like sampler page full boxes work. Um, the A5 stickers also work well. So um, I really encourage you if you're not using a normal seven by nine planner to test out planner um, stickers. One great way to do this is to pick up the complete, um, the complete, not, is it called complete now? The deluxe grab bags is what I was trying to think of. Those usually encompass like every kit that we offer in the shop. And so you can play around and see which kits will work the best for your planner. Um, and it's all in one like design. So for example, if I was doing it with this kit here, it would be all in kit 182. And that way you can play around with all the different stickers, see like which ones you would like to order on a monthly basis, that type of thing. Um, so yeah, anyway, that is it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed getting to see a little walkthrough of all the April kits. These will all be up at 9 a.m. on Friday, so 9 a.m. Central Time. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Or if you're ordering and you're not sure about something, feel free to message me. I always try and get back to you guys as soon as I can. So thank you guys again, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.